Hello people, I'm Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So in today's video, we're gonna learn the data transfer group of instructions of 8085. So we're doing this whole series of 8085 instruction set. We're gonna cover each and every instruction. The instruction set is divided into five groups. The first group is called data transfer. So this video is about the data transfer group of instructions. There are 16 instructions in that group. All the 16 instructions are there on the board. As you can understand, data transfer instruction means we are not uh, doing any arithmetic or logic operation. We are simply transferring data from one place to the other. What are the places? You could transfer data from a register to another register or from a register to a memory location or from a memory location to a register or you can put data directly into a register. I'm sure you know about the registers of ADA Refi. ADA Refi has got seven general purpose registers. A, B, C, D, E, H, L. I'm sure you've seen the architecture, you've seen addressing modes. Those are required to understand this video. Now, out of those seven registers, B, C, D, E and H, L can be used as pairs. When you use them as a pair, they work as a 16-bit register pair. Okay, so you can form BC pair, DE pair and HL pair. A is a singular register, but you know if you've seen the architecture, it's the most important register, also called the accumulator. It acts as the accumulator, it acts as the accumulator in arithmetic and logic operations. Also, there is something called M. M is not a register, okay? M is a memory location. It can be any memory location whose address is given by HL pair. So if you say you're putting something in B register, the value will go into a register. If you pay, say you're putting something in C register, it will go into some register. But if you say you're putting something in M, the value is not going into any register. It is going to a memory location pointed by HL pair. Whatever is the value present in HL pair, that value will act as an address. M is that location. So if you put something into M, it doesn't go into a register. It goes into a memory location whose address is given by HL pair. Of course, I'm going to teach you that in detail as we see the various instructions one by one. So what are the instructions we're going to learn today? We're going to learn MVI, the simplest instruction to put a number into a register. LXI, the bigger one to put a number into a register pair. MVI M, I'll teach you the difference between MVI, MVI B and MVI M. There the value goes into a register, here it goes into a memory location. Then those were the very simple basic instructions. Then the bigger ones, move, move again, this move is between two registers, between a register and a memory location, between a memory location and a register. Further, more complex, as you go ahead of course, the instructions become more and more intricate. So LDA and STA, then LHLD and SHLD. Again, we're not going to learn them dry, we're going to learn them with pictures, with examples, so that you clearly understand what they are. How important are instructions? Students generally ignore instructions and directly go on to learn bigger topics. That's when they find the subject difficult. Instructions are necessary. They're not just important by themselves. By themselves, how many marks will they carry? One instruction will carry two marks, not more than that. But instructions, only if you understand instructions, you can write programs. So if you don't know instructions, your programming goes out of the window. Moreover, uh, there is something called timing diagrams. I'm sure you know in ADA Refi you have in detailed study of timing diagrams. They can ask you timing diagram of any instruction. Now you may know how to draw a timing diagram, but if you don't know what the instruction does, you can never draw the timing diagram of that particular instruction. So from that point of view again. And then there are some instructions which have deep repercussions, deep effects in bigger theory topics. So if you understand the instruction set thoroughly, in classroom lectures, I take two, three hour lectures. That's whole six hours to teach the whole instruction set. Oh, here, of course, it's not going to be that long. But anyway, so because in the classroom, there are a lot of questions asked, etc., etc. So it, it just takes, a, it takes much more time than teaching someone one to one. But anyway, my point is, we're going to learn all the instructions. Look at this one, X, XTHL, pretty crazy instruction, a, a kind of a favorite from exam point of view because you cannot guess. See, uh, no matter how much, uh, how smart a person is, anybody looking at move B comma C or MVI B comma 25, even without studying can figure out what it does. I mean, if you can't figure out that, then there is a real problem. Okay, those are really obvious instructions. But something like XTHL, you may be the smartest kid in the world, but if you don't know what this instruction does, you can't figure it out. So there are some instructions which are obvious, there are some instructions which require a lot of understanding. So I'm going to teach you, I'm going to spend good time on XTHL, I'm going to teach you with a diagram, with an example how it works and there are programs where you need to use XTHL. So if you know how it works, you'll know the correct place to use it in a program. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Now if you've been watching my videos on YouTube, you know what, we, what uh, I've been doing. I have made the initial videos, the architecture, 
uh, of 8085, the introduction to microprocessors, they've got lakhs of use by now. Uh, I've made them for the whole world. I love the subjects and I want to spread the love for the subject. Uh, I've been teaching the subject since 18 years. While doing engineering, it was my favorite subject. Uh, this was the first subject that I started teaching also. So all in all, I want everyone to learn microprocessors. Those who are from Bombay University, yeah, I teach in Bombay. So uh, you can get hold of me and come for my class or whatever. But if you're not, all over the world, people study the subject. So it's to spread, as I said, liking for the subject. I've given those videos for free for everybody to watch. But then after that, if you want to learn the whole subject from me, you got to come to my website. It's a professional service. So there's a charge for it. I've kept the charge very low. As of now, the charge is 5.99. As the, so the I make more and more videos, once the channel is complete, the charge will increase. As of now, it's pretty low. If you subscribe now, you still have access to all the videos, which I'm going to put later. Anyway, so all you need to do is come to my website, www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. It's the name of the channel itself it's written over here also but anyway just come to that channel register yourself like you do in any website there's a small payment it will ask you for make the payment the moment you make the payment you can make the payment by various methods debit card credit card paytm net banking everything works okay so all you need to do is make the payment instantly within a second the site will be active for you and from there on for the next six months you can watch all the videos of that particular channel so suppose you subscribe for 8085 all the videos of 8085 and its peripheral chips everything i've given the list of videos which i'm going to upload half of them have been uploaded and more and more of every day we're working on this on a daily basis so on a daily basis we'll be keep we'll go on uploading more videos anyway so you'll be able to watch them unlimited number of times for the next six months and keep watching them keep understanding them uh, maybe watch it with your friends also so that uh, you get more perspective into it you understand it more and just enjoy learning the subject okay wish you all the best do well and I hope to see you then.